Hello there. My name is Jonathan. This is the first one of my videos. People, I've had many people say that they don't have a room for gardens. They live in an apartment, a condo. So I'm here to prove you wrong. Look at my garden. I'm on the third floor of a, on the condos here in Reno, Nevada. Yeah, it's getting in the late June. And my things are starting to come out just fine. My problem is, I get a lot of these old leaves from this tree. All these seeds, I just have to, every day, I just have to come out here and I pick about 20 or 30 of these things out. Just gotta keep picking them out. Let's go ahead and show you what I've been growing over here. Over here in the corner. This is my corn. I know, it's not very big. I thought it worked in a pot. I was working with my brothers, that's what he did. He was growing his in a pot. His worked out just fine. His is about three feet tall by now. Mine's about four inches. This one's also corn. I think a bird came and ate it. One day it was just gone. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a bunch of little bugs flying around. These right here, these are yellow crookedneck squash. They're getting kind of big. Starting to get some flowers in them. See right down here? You see the little ones starting to come through. And then these big, with these with the big leaves on them, are zucchinis. Zucchini squash. These have a lot bigger flowers on them. Just gotta wait for them to get bigger and then I can self pollinate them. Moving over. We have our cucumbers with little runners. Just gotta make sure they don't get out of control. They're getting trying to get a little bit of flowers on them. Then on the other end of this box, I have peppers. In the past two weeks, these things went from about two inches to about six, six or seven inches, I'd say. They only get they only grow to about a foot, so I think they're doing really well. But they're starting to get holes on the leaves right now. And then moving over to our next box. In this whole box, I have just onions. All of them are onions. Just up right here, none grew. And I have them staggered. One, I think, I have four of them that are growing about two months later than all the others. No, a month later, sorry. Then the last box. I have carrots. These are carrots growing. They're not as big as everything else. I don't know why. Probably started them too late. Then right here, in a bunch of pots, I have many different things. These down here are peppers. I have some basil growing. It, it was originally in this pot, but Two weeks ago, I plant, transplanted into a little bit bigger pot, so it had room to grow. Then these are some more squashes. Not sure exactly what they all are right now, but I know that this one's zucchini. I think that this one is cucumber, and it's all just mixed throughout them. Hey. Well, I also did green onions, just bought some green onions at the store and cut off the roots, cut it off at the roots and just put it in some water and they grow. I just have so much green onion I just let these grow and as you can see one's dying. This was celery. Never grew. I just, you see the celery seeds at the store, like a seasoning, I just put some in a pot. Didn't really grow. But this is garlic. All I did was took one of these cloves with this huge bulb of garlic from the store and put it in a pot and it grew. This thing is like a foot and a half tall and it just keeps spitting out these little roots down here. These little green things, green stems. And they're humongous. Then over here in the corner, 
I use compost tea. Just put some compost in some water and mix it up. Mix it up every day. I have enough water in there to last another water, and then I'll fill it back up. Then, in this trash can, I put a bag of garden soil in here and put some potatoes. And once they grow a little bit more, I'm going to bury them again until I get to the top of this aluminum foil, as you can see. I put the aluminum foil in there to get some sunlight all the way down at the bottom and before I started adding more dirt so I could get some sunlight. So that's what I have on the ground in this little area. I also have some topsy turvies. This one? It is a yellow squash, yellow crookedness squash. You see it has some flowers growing also. Then, instead of actually buying a top serve at the store, I just got a two dollar bucket down down at Walmart. And just poked two holes at the bottom. These are tomatoes. In like the last week they have just, just exploded. Yeah, I thought they all died, so I bought some tomato plants at the store and when I got back home. They spit out. They they spit out some truly. So I just let them grow, and, and like two weeks later, this is what I got. And I just gave away the ones I bought. This one is peppers upside down. They're not growing very fast. I think I should have let them grow about this big before I put it in there. Before I transplant it upside down. But it works. This is my first year doing this, so this is an experiment year. Okay. So thank you all very much for coming to watch my video.